Hey guys, today we're gonna go out for a fishing trip. I'm not much of a fisherman, but my son is into it. And so we'll go out there and I'll see if I can teach him a thing or two and maybe I'll learn something from him. I also have my fridge loaded up and I have it hooked up to my Anchor Powerhouse 400. And so I've got that running behind me and we'll check in on that in a little bit. It's really just more about having a good time and going out and enjoying ourselves. Today I have the mini fridge set up and in the mini fridge I have a couple of sandwiches and some drinks and I didn't pre-cool the fridge before I started this trip. So I started this trip this morning about two hours ago. Got this set up in here and I got all this stuff in here. And I have, like I said, some sandwiches and drinks. None of that stuff was pre-cooled. So I'm expecting the compressor to run for most of the trip. So there's how it fits in the van. So this is the view from under the bed and you can see my anchor powerhouse is sitting at 87%. The wires run up to the Alpacool up in the front of the van. How's it going? What you got going on? Destroy. Oh, the reel fell apart? Don't swing it. Hey, where's the hook? All the way there. Okay, give me, just, hey, relax. Okay, we got you. We've got the rat's nest out, huh? So I've got another reel we're going to put on real quick. That other one ended up becoming a rat's nest. Uh, unfortunately, that's what happens when you guys start casting unsupervised with very inexperienced fishers. I'm not much more experienced, but we got that going on. So we're actually back at the van here, and what we'll do is we'll hang out. We'll get this fixed up, and then we'll try to uh, get back on this. What we have is we're going to put this on. Luckily, when I was in the store, I, I picked this up because I knew we weren't going to have much luck with this thing. So to get this uh, old reel off, the reel right here. All right, maybe. So that's out of the way. Didn't mean to drop that, but I got my buddy back here. So we're going to do this. Go ahead and get that in the slot there. Make sure it's lined up nice and neat. Good. So now we got a reel for... Something a little easier for you, okay? Okay. So I've got his new bait tied on, and I was actually getting some snags on this bait out there before we ratted up the other spool. But as you can see, I'm not much of a knot tire either. And my theory behind this is I tied a bunch of square knots, wrapped it back through that hoop a couple times, and then tied a few more square knots. And those are working for me pretty good, but I do need to actually learn how to tie a real knot. Try one more time. Leave a little bit of slack in it so that the hook's not right there. Yeah, let's see what you got. Now start reeling it in because remember, it's supposed to be like a live bait, right? If you keep it moving, it's going to look like a fish that's trying to swim away. So what we're going to try to do is give this thing a little more life. Oh, there's a duck over there. Duck's doing some fishing too, huh? I'll pick that up in a sec, but I'm going to file that through the head like that as much as I can, okay? And this might actually be, we're gonna get that just in there just enough, okay? So the issue here is, for something like this, with this small of a hook, the fish is gonna to wanna to have to grab the whole thing. So we either catch a really big fish or maybe possibly nothing with this. So let's try it out real quick. Hopefully I don't catch that duck, right? Sounds like the guys across the pond caught a fish. Pull it up. All right. Yeah, but you're going too fast, okay? Pull it in a little bit so you can control it a little better. We're going to move over to another spot around the pond here, another pond, and see what we get. You ready to head out, bud? All right, we're gonna leave that fishing pole fully extended for now, okay? 
Just, just be careful, right? Just set that between the bed and the seat, okay? Good? Okay. Now I'll set this stuff in there. You want a snack or anything? Hey guys, it's just about noon and I wanted to come back and check on the anchor powerhouse. So I'm sitting at 68%. So we haven't been having much luck today, but it's not a huge deal. It's actually a lot of fun, as long as I don't get snagged by this hook while we're doing this. And we'll keep doing it and see if maybe we catch a little fish or something. <laughs> All right guys, so it looks like we're not gonna catch anything today. But we did have a lot of fun. Did you have some fun? Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh did you catch any seaweed? Yeah. Yeah. Did we almost catch a fish? What kind of fish was it? It was something trout rainbow trout. A rainbow trout. And how how could you tell what kind of fish it was? Because there's like a post board of it. Poster board? Yeah. On the, out by the park. Okay, cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you like my content, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure.